Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe so you can join the family. Um, so recently I just uploaded a video on my 17 and pregnant delivery vlog as a teen mom. Um, and I said I was going to do a part 2. So yeah, right now I'm going to do this video because I'm going to do a part 2. Right? You see me look down because I'm, I wrote some notes here to try not to forget. So yeah, um, if you guys hear any noise, it's because my daughter's watching her favorite, uh, her favorite movie, Moana. Okay, so, um, I'm gonna be starting from, like, the very, very beginning, step by step, and then to the very end, how, like, I find out, and how my parents reacted. I wrote a little bit of notes, but I just to remember, like, to go step by step, but hopefully, uh... I can remember everything. Okay, so like I said, if you hear any noise, my daughter is watching Moana right now. Um, okay, so how did me and my, my partner, her dad, how did we meet? So we actually met and near the end of the school year of yeah, at the end of the school year, he was in, he was a sophomore and I was a junior. And we didn't meet face by face. We actually met through social media. And there was a time, it was the first time where he actually texted, he was the one that actually texted me first. Because the time I was going through something and he ended up uh, texting me. But when I wasn't going through anything he actually texted me something I don't remember quite what it was but he actually texted me something that I I'm gonna take it off yeah I'm gonna take it off that I honestly thought he was an A-S-S H-O-L-E I can't say it because kids watch this so I thought he was mean so I did not text him back at all. I don't know that I remember. I don't think I texted him back at all. I just left him on word. Or maybe I did say something. I don't know. But time passed and then yeah, he ended up texting me. I'm not gonna go into really detail about that because I have to ask him for permission first if he wants me to say something like that. So yeah. Um, okay, so when we actually met face to face, um he was with his friends and I was actually the one that said hi to him. And I actually was the one that took him away from his friends. And he actually told me that he was germophobic. So at that point, I knew that how he was like, I think, yeah. So at that point, I knew that I wasn't going to end up seeing him hugging any girl. So that was a whoop whoop for me. Um, because I, if I would have seen a girl, I think I would have flipped off. Um, I don't know what's going on. What else? Okay, so yeah. Like I said, he was, sorry, I paused for a little, like a little bit. So, yeah, he told me that he was germophobic. So in the beginning, he wasn't hugging me. He, when we became, by then we actually did become a uh, boyfriend and girlfriend. We were talking, I think we were talking, we were talking already. So, we were in the same school, we were in different years. We had the same lunch, and that we didn't know. Um... I I actually had to like be like, hey, you can hug me. I want you to hold my hand. Oh, it's because, okay, if you heard that, Alana went like, <laughs> it's because she knows the scenes and they already heard one of her other favorite scenes is when the guy sings. Okay, so, um, after that, time actually, a uh, little bit of time passed. Okay, so on this part right here, my phone actually cut off. When I was editing the video, I realized that, and I have to redo the video of the part where it didn't show TV! TV! 
TV! TV! And I put a call button. Yes, TV. I can't put play right now, Mama. Wait. You can't hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. Oh, she wants to jump up already. It scares me. Oh, oh she secrets us. Okay. So, let me go back to how it was supposed to actually be. So, the moment me and my boyfriend found out is because my backpack was really dirty and I was always a messy person in my backpack. I was never organized. I would just throw anything and blah, 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 blah. Okay, we're ready to go. Let's go. And he was the organized one. So, he'd be like, wait, hey, we were in the kitchen. Uh, in the kitchen. We were in the cafeteria. And he's like, wait, we need to clean your backpack. It's really messy. And he was... So I was like this. He was like... Um, he was like a... Babe, he was cleaning it. He was like, what is this? And I'm like, what was the printing test that I took? And he's like, oh my, what do you have it here? I'm like, I don't remember. <laughs> I just threw it in there. So, oh, because I was hiding, hiding it from my family. So I, was, I put it in there and he takes it. He takes it. And he's like, and he's smiling. And I'm like, what is it? And he's like, and I'm like, what is it? And I'm like, it's not positive because it was negative. I've had that one there for like three weeks. And he's like, and I'm like, you're joking, you're just messing with me. And he, <laughs> and I take it away from him. Sure knows positive. And I'm like, this thing has to be wrong because every time I would take, it would be negative. So I'm like, this thing has to be wrong. It's very old. So, yeah. That's the part that I, that's the part that you guys missed. So yeah, now it's gonna add up to my the second little part that's gonna be showing up right here. Okay, yeah. But after I bought that one, to do the Dollar Tree one, I'm like, okay, well we need to we, we need to make sure. Yeah, we need to make sure. So, oh mama, it's our favorite toy. This one right here is our favorite toy. Yeah, this is Foxy. Keep going, buddy. Sorry. So after that, I'm like, well, okay, what's well, not sure? We went to the store and we bought the parenting test and stick it in the bag with any other stuff we bought. We took it to the room and we took the test. Sure enough, it was the expensive one, $10 ones with the two bags. It came out positive. Both of them. And this was at late night. So I told, we told his mom and his dad and his whole family. And they said, I mean, it's understandable so we guys gave you the talk and what was gonna happen and and they they, they they said that it's not our responsibility it's his responsibility that he has to start working that I have to take responsibility of knowing that it's not gonna be easy taking care of kids etc 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 a lot more after that we had to tell my mom which Anthony was gonna actually do and we get, he drops me off at his, his mom, him and his mom drop me off at my house. And it's actually, I mean, thinking about it now, it's pretty funny because it's me. Okay, so they go to, he, he drops me off at, his, at my house and he's, and he tells my mom. Uh, well, I think I told my mom, yeah. And we're like, okay, we need to talk to you. We need to tell you something. And they're like, Yes, what is what is it? And I say, well, it's because I'm pregnant. And they, of course, they said in Spanish because I mean, my mom is Spanish. And my mom, I think my mom's, I don't know, my mom started crying. But they were like, well, we knew it. And I was like, what? How do you guys know? And they're like, Oh, because you hadn't gotten your period, and I'm like, don't you think we pay attention? I mean, you've been going to his house, really expected. And they honestly didn't get mad. I mean, my mom, my mom, she's really, she was really supportive. She was like, it's a blessing of God, and this and that, and this and that, and this and that. Okay, so she always told me that I needed to eat well, and whenever I, I was hungry, and you know, always buy me something to eat and stuff like that. He would always take care of me. Okay, so the way Anthony reacted, like I already told you guys, he was actually really happy. Um, when do you ever see a no cure or anything that a guy 
I think young gay is actually really happy that he's gonna have a baby. So, I forgot to tell you guys. I was actually already a senior and I found out I was pregnant on January. And on the beginning of February, and I was when I went to go check up on the doctor, I was actually on my OBGYN, which is a million OBGYN. I was already, um, it was February 11th, and when I checked myself, my baby was like a little piece, like a little, tiny, tiny little piece. Um, uh, yeah, so I think I believe I was already a month. So, during, so during my high school year, as a senior, uh, it was really hard for me because after a month that I found out I was pregnant, not even probably a week past or two, that I started throwing up constantly. Every morning, I had morning sickness. Day and night, midday, 24-7, I had morning sickness all day through the day. So imagine going to school and having to go to the restroom every day, getting on, going on, on the bus, and feeling like you are going to throw up. There was a point in the bus where I was, I had to seriously go throw up in the restroom. That, no, sorry, I had to seriously, I was in the bus, and I had to seriously go up to the bucket and be like this and throw up to the bus driver it was so embarrassing because everybody was looking like um what's going on with her yes so that was very embarrassing everybody was like what the hell is she doing it was gross so how do you think i felt so at that point i'm like okay so i need to tell my teachers that i was pregnant so there was this there was this uh I was always missing school constantly, and at that point, I already had since I, w I would all, uh, back then, I would always miss a lot of school. A lot of school, my hours were bad, so to the point where I was not almost gonna graduate. So adding up more hours to the day I would miss. So um, I had to tell one of my teachers, and my teacher like, because she came to my class, and she like, hey Martha, how are you doing? Why haven't you been coming to school? been missing a lot and I was like Miss I'm pregnant she's like I knew it I knew it so like everybody knew it it's upset so she's like um but are you happy what are you gonna do I'm like yeah I'm fine I'm like I mean I was throwing up every single day she's like well you know there's a teen parenting class and this and that so yeah I decided not to the teen parent teen parent decided the teen parenting act they were really nice people so I kept on throwing up over and over so I would miss a lot of school days anything I would eat I would throw up everything not it there was not one thing where I would keep in my system that I lost weight but I wasn't I wasn't I wasn't showing until I was I believe six months seven months that's when I was starting to show I was going and that's because I mean I was skinny but I wasn't that skinny and I still had some long heat dust and some long hush on the side um, so yeah, I went to me and went in, I'm like, oh, um, I'm throwing up a lot, is there anything you could give me? And yeah, there was something that they, they could give you, so if you can't, you're throwing up a lot, there's always something they can give you. They say, I'm sorry, we don't have anything, it's a lie. There's always something they can give you. And I couldn't miss for like maybe two days without the pill, but then I went to the, like, the second day, I was already throwing up a little bit, third day. I was throwing up not constantly and every morning I would throw up acid like yellow acid it was horrible it was horrible feeling especially by Denny I had to eat something because I would throw up acid and something else is that she did give me a scare once because I started bleeding I was peeing and it started bleeding at the same time so I went to the hospital and I was crying because I didn't want to lose my baby I wanted my baby I wanted to keep my baby that was my choice that was our choice I was throwing up and they checked me and they said that everything was fine, that there wasn't nothing wrong with the baby, they were checking my baby and by the time they were actually checking me, the there was no big deal yet that he was able to check, he was like, hey look, you want to see your baby? And they didn't let, they, I wasn't supposed to allowed to see my baby because it was for it was for an emergency, it wasn't for like to be checking and see about my baby, but he was actually cool enough and nice enough, he was an old man, to be like, 
hey, you want to see your baby? So I was like, yes, I want to see your baby. He's like, look, he's looking at you. He has, eyes, she has her eyes open. He's like, what is it? I'm like, she's a girl. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, that was like the most beautiful scene because when I went to go tell her dad, I was like, she had her eyes open and she was moving and da, da, da. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Okay, so the time, the day, but uh, the moment we found out, we actually found out blood tests. So they totally asked me, hey, do you want, she's standing up. She's like, hey, do you want uh, to find out what blood tests? Or they say, yeah, we'll do blood tests. And they, the results came back and they're like, do you want us to tell you right here and then? And I'm like, no, 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 we'll wait. <laughs> and so we waited, we went to Burger King and then we didn't really have a lot of money. So we went to Burger King and he bought me a small frappe. But the lady said she found out that we were running a dinner interview. I don't know how. I guess she heard us. She gave me a large one. So I was like, yay. And then know that I never drank coffee or any type of caffeine. So this was like a cheat day. So after that, you know, my baby was kicking a lot. Um, so I read it. And he, I, at first I wanted a boy. He wanted a girl. And then he started getting me to get money and stuff like that. No. So... When I when we found out about the gender, we actually read it and like I said, we actually read it in Burger King, and we were honestly happy. Which one? You know, it's itchy. <laughs> you know, <it's> itchy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's standing up. She can stand up her hand. Oh no 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 no! Oh no! Um. He was really happy. I was really happy. Um. So, yeah, there is, uh, I believe she, she gave me a so, yeah, the second scare she did give me was, um, was that I have finished eating pizza, yes, 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 me, 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 why are you moving your mouth like that, me, 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 you're like an old lady, me, 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 um, so, the second cigarette she gave me was when I had finished eating pizza and it was a long night. I was sitting down I was sitting down on a chair because we were having a birthday, I believe. And my this part of my chest and the bottom of my breast, like in the middle, it started hurting so bad where I couldn't take breath in because I felt like this huge long ass pressure and it started getting these like cramps all over my stomach. and. Uh, I called my OBGYN, my OBGYN, he's like, well, you can go check, you can go to the hospital, you can go check what it is, and they checked my baby and she was fine. Oh, you that I had getting heartburn, so yeah. Don't eat anything greasy. Try not to eat anything greasy, because the pizza is bad. <laughs> um, that's it. So, I think that's all the spinning scare she gave me. The end, yeah, so I think that's all the scare she gave me. So, oh no, 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 no! In order. Okay, so during the high school year when I started showing little by little, little I always, I would get faces and Anthony would be getting told stuff like, I'm pretty sure that's not your baby and stuff like that. Because like I said, I had haters. And, and I'm not gonna say names. I, I know who, but I'm not gonna say names. Not, not now. Maybe later. Um, but, they would say, start saying it's probably not his baby, blah, blah, blah. And I'd be like, seriously, come on, let's stop. You're nice, let's stop talking shit. Um, so yeah, that would happen. Um, let's see what else. Let's see, by the end of my pregnancy, I was, I believe, 38 weeks already. I graduated, no, forget it, I'm sorry. I graduated high school pregnant. Yes, I graduated high school pregnant and I believe I was already maybe I was like six and a half months already and I graduated pregnant with, yeah I graduated pregnant and I was wearing high school so I was tired as hell my body baby couldn't handle it anymore I had to take off my shoes and then I lost my family and I couldn't find them so yeah you really, you really couldn't see my belly because of the gown and everything, it was covering it, but yeah, I was pregnant. And this is a story I would want to tell my, I want my daughter to see, be like, hey, you were pregnant with mommy. <laughs> so, 
when I was pregnant with my dog and all those people would tell me stuff, I really didn't care, honestly. I mean, I did care that they were saying she's making up rumors about me because, I mean, you're turning up to my husband, my man, when I'm pregnant. Like, if you want to mess up something and leave my daughter without a ton of father. But that's not the way he is because that's how he, he always trusted me. Um, so after that, it came to 38 weeks, September 25th, and September 24th, and actually, yeah, 23rd, sorry, September 23rd, and it was already night. No, it was, I had my OBG by the way, and then, and my feet were swollen. So by the end of my pregnancy, I'm so glad it wasn't my high school year, man. It was already, it was already in the summer. My feet were so swollen. My fingers were swollen that the ring he bought me didn't fit me anymore, and I had to take it off. It wouldn't fit my finger. It would start like getting stuck there. Oh look, she signed up on her own. Hi, boo boo. Say hello. <laughs> So, I really, I think I got the last picture. So right here is when I first found out. You can, I was five weeks, forget I was five weeks. Okay, yes, I remember, I was five weeks when I found out. So it's like this little tiny little picture right here of her. I'm sorry this video is like really long. And then, this one, it was already, I don't know how many weeks she was already here. Eight weeks and five days. So she was right here. Eight weeks and five days. That's what she is. Look, Mama, you were eight weeks and five days, and look now you have a little a little milk belly, your beer belly. Get it. Uh huh. No, 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 no. And then I got a lot more. It's like, I don't want to take one. Oh, oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. It's like weeks that pass. Right here. So, right here, she was already. I don't know what to say. It doesn't say, were you a baby? It doesn't say. She's like, you're standing on her own. Because she's like, you can already stand on her own. For like a long, a long second, you can already, you can actually see her. Like that's her little eyes right here. Yeah, her head, her ears, her little spine. So cute. Yeah, look at your baby. You're a small little tiny baby. Oh yay! Here. Yes. So let me look for. Uh huh. Oh look, right here you can see like her legs. Right there, you can see it. Also her legs, her little feet, her body there. We took a uh, we took a four a four D sonogram, and and that day, and he was like, maybe we should wait a little longer. And I'm like, no, I want to take a seat now. Okay. <laughs> because we wasted a hundred dollars, and she wasn't even showing her face. She was just covering it. Yeah, she, you, you, you an expensive baby. She was born. The last picture. She was so cute, my baby. So yeah. Um, at 38 weeks, I went to my GYM, and my feet were really swollen. By when I got checked, they checked me and they're like, your blood pressure is high. Have you been feeling dizzy? And I'm like, well, yeah. Once in a while, I get really dizzy. And they're like, okay, we're gonna have to induce you because you had something in, I don't know, something happened with your baby, something like that. And yeah, at that point, my OBG, we go to my OBG, we end, she's like, okay, so we're gonna have to induce you. You're, getting, you're going into labor at 12 a.m. And I was like, wow. I didn't expect to get my baby. I was supposed to get her October 6th. And now she's a September baby, like her dad. Her dad's September 13th. And I'm honestly very grateful. My man is like with me. He takes care of both of us. I had a hard time pushing. I can, I did upload a video of my birth and, de uh, birth and delivery vlog first. If you guys haven't seen it, go check that one out. 
And the moment I hold her in my, in my arms, it's like an eye opening to me. It was the most amazing feeling. It's like a different type of love. You would, something that you would be like, I would jump in front of that person no matter what. Not thinking twice, not blinking once. Just do it. Anything for that person. Yeah. It's an amazing. It was a blessing from God. And now here she is. Seeing her grow up so fast. Especially when I breastfeed. I love breastfeeding. She's drinking and now you see her is like smiling up at me and be like, yeah, smiling and yeah, my baby, I love you, I love you. So yeah, that is my scenting and pregnant story time. By the time that I was delivering, I was actually already 18 years old. My birthday is on August and like, my birthday is in like more on August 7th. The day after it's gonna be Mama's birthday. So, you, what are you gonna buy for Mama, huh? What are you gonna give her? Sneaky diapers? You gonna show her you gonna poop? You gonna give Mommy a poopy diaper for her birthday, right? Yeah, poopy diaper. Okay, <laughs> it's gonna be her gift. I love your, uh, yeah, I love your poopy diapers. Yes. Yeah. So she knows some words. Say yes. See. No. And TV. <laughs> she loves TV. <laughs> Right? You love TV? TV. TV. Say yes. See. See. Can you say see. See. Yes. No? Not right now? Right. So that's going to be all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're not, if you're not uh, subscribed to my channel, make sure you like and subscribe and join the family. Can you say bye-bye, Lana? Can you say bye-bye? Can you say bye-bye?